how do you make an animated GIF, which looks just like this, a scrolling GIF, an animated GIF, whatever you want to call it. How do you do it? And more importantly, how do you do it in PowerPoint? Well, let me show you. But there is a disclaimer. You've got to have a more recent version of PowerPoint. I tried this in PowerPoint 2016 and it wouldn't work. And I'll explain why later. Um, but I'm using, I think it's 2000. 23 or something at the moment. I'm using a certain up-to-date version of PowerPoint, a uh, very up-to-date version of PowerPoint, and it works perfectly, as you can see. So let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is open up PowerPoint, and we have PowerPoint open. You can see I've got a completely blank slide here. I've done nothing to it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a text box. I'll put it in there. So how do I, there you go, a bit of text. I'm just going to get this text perfect. So let's change the font. Let's go for, uh, let's go for that font now. Let's make it nice and big. There you go, 96. Put it in the middle of the screen. In fact, what I'll do, I'll centralize it as well. So I've got my first thing here. So how do I? And what I want to do, I'm going to color. Well, I'm going to change the color of the slide. You don't have to. Yeah, you can keep the slide color whatever you want. But I'm going to make the slide color a bit more interesting. Make it this kind of greenish look. There we go. Now I'll duplicate to this slide. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to right click on it and go to duplicate slide. I'm going to duplicate the slide again. There we go. So we've got how do I? How do I? And how do I? Now, the reason I've done this is just so I've got the text in the same place on each slide. So I'm going to change this. So I'm going to the second one here. So how do I make, let's get rid of the capital M, an animated, let's just stretch this out so it fits nicely on there. There we go. How do I make an animated GIF question mark. So that's what we've got. How do I make an animated GIF? Simple as that. Now, it doesn't have to be three slides. It can be as many slides as you want. You can have images on it. You can do as you wish. Okay, but I'm doing it this way. So how do I make an animated GIF? Now, the next thing you need to do is go to Transitions and click on the first slide and press a Shift on your keyboard and then click on the last slide so you've got all of them selected. You can see they're all highlighted here. And with transitions at the top, go to push. And that's what it's going to do with the transition. It's going to push it up like that, as you just saw in that little demonstration. If it did fade, it would do that. Push, wipe. There you go. So I'll go for push. But you could choose any that you wanted. Now, we're almost at the final stage of this. Go to file. Save as, give it a name. So animation one, I'll call it. But what you need to do instead of a PowerPoint presentation, click on that and change it to animated GIF. Find the appropriate place to save it. Yeah, save it in there. So it is an animated GIF format. That's the important part. File name can be whatever you want, but it must be this. Click save. Let's now find that file. It's this one here, animation one, that's what we called it. I'll double click on it. And look at that. That's what happens when you launch it. How do I make an animated GIF? And there we have it. As I say, you can do whatever you want with the uh, transition, so you can make it you know, look different if you want to do so. But the important thing is you now know how to do this in PowerPoint. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a like. It really does help me. It helps me quite a lot with the old YouTube algorithm. And uh, make sure you subscribe to me to see more top tech tips on how to use PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Excel, Google Sheets, you name it, I'm covering it. Thank you very much.